Anyone in the Marlin Bay County area will know the big news by now that Amity Cove has been struck by a tidal wave. Here on wonderful WWTP Radio, we love to hear from our listeners. Now, the, the photograph is a little blurred, but shows Thelma, and I think that must be her cute little dog beside her, or maybe her husband. And Thelma says she's fed up with my talking all the time, and would I just shut up and play the music? And you, and you but apart from that, it's a beautiful day, and you're listening to the Big Bob Jones All Day Radio Show. Full Park Resort is a UK theme park and is owned by Merlin Entertainments. The resort is home to many different types of rides and attractions including The Swarm, Nemesis Inferno and Darren Brown's Ghost Train. Before we talk about the construction of Stealth, let's go back in time and find out how this coaster came to be. You may think Fort Park has always been for thrill seekers, but it was actually originally an educational family theme park when it first opened back in 1979. The first major coaster investment to be added into the park was X No Way Out, which was the world's first backwards coaster in the dark. One. Behind me is Thought Park's secret weapon for 1996. It's the biggest and most adventurous ride ever. X colon backslash No Way Out is the only one of its kind in the whole world. Six years down the road, and Fort Park were already planning to build the world's first 10 looping roller coaster. It would be called Colossus. Following the success of Colossus, Fort Park's next coaster was to be built just one year after the opening of Colossus. Nemesis Inferno was the park's new suspended coaster for 2003. To Ellis' point, the park had a large indoor family coaster, a multi-looping coaster, and a suspended coaster, so what would come next? This is when the first initial plans and ideas came up for Stealth, which would be Fort Park's brand new launch coaster. One thing you may not know 
is that Stealth originally in its plans featured a large grandstand that was looking onto the launch of Stealth. This was part of the queue, but unfortunately, due to budget cuts, it was removed from the final plans. The new ride would sit on the old footprint of the old model world, which no longer exists. Also, the flying fish had to be moved to make way for the new coaster. Construction began to build Stealth in March of 2005. Stealth is an Intamin launch coaster and reaches a top speed of 80 miles an hour in just 2.3 seconds. The height and speed is what Fort Park used to help promote Stealth as their new ride for 2006. Stealth would be part of an extension to the Amity Cove area of the park. Around the Stealth area and within the queue line, you can hear the WWTP radio, which is a made up radio station Fort Park made just for the area. Not everyone can take the stealth challenge. We can't all be record breakers. Someone had to look after the bags. The Lazarites are a non-profit organization dedicated to the stealth challenge. Stealth officially opened to the public on the 15th of March, 2006. Three, two, one, go! 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 If you've ever been watching a Fort Park video on YouTube, then you've probably seen this video before. One thing Stealth is very known for is its rollbacks. This is when the train doesn't have enough energy to make it over the hill, so it just ends up slowly rolling back into the station. This is a very rare event, and you're very lucky if you ever get to experience this. Oh, oh, oh. 